Hey everyone, today I'll be reviewing Meat by Logan Martin. The logline reads, A misanthropic man notices bizarre changes in himself, his wife, and the animals inhabiting the territory around their homestead as they attempt to survive self-imposed isolation. So this script was featured on the 2017 blacklist. Um, I'd actually read it back in September 2017 when Script Shadow had um, posted this uh, glowing review of this script and um, had put it on his top 25 list. At that point, Logan Martin was, you know, an unknown um, writer and uh, Script Shadow kind of helped popularize the script again. And, um, um, and you know, then since then it get, went on the blacklist. Uh, so I'd read it back then and um, I remember my visceral reaction was I was not that impressed by the script. It was 72 pages. That was the version that I had read. And um, again, like I'm not a horror guy, so it may have been, that may have been part of the reason, but I remember just overall not being too impressed by the screenplay itself, like not being impressed by the story, not being impressed by the dialogue, not really seeing anything that was inherently special about the script. And it didn't really retain my uh, attention as I was reading it. The only reason I was, had, you know, committed to finishing the script was just because it had been praised so much. So I thought maybe, oh, the ending's really good or the, you know, third act or whatever. But I remember just at the end being like, I, I don't really understand. Um, I did like the very last, like, maybe five pages just because I thought it was really, really creepy. There was some very creepy visual imagery and I'm like, okay, that's something. But that's, you know, only five pages of a 70-page script. So um, I was confused. Since then, like for this review, I've been going back to look at it and I've been reading it. And there's actually a, a version now, a 92 page version that's in a, a blacklist like Google Drive that I found. And so it seems like he did expand the script a bit. I haven't had the chance to read that. I'm probably not going to read it, but I was kind of uh, cruising through it. And I did notice some changes um, that were interesting. But basically, um, I'll say a bit about the story. It follows two characters, Ben and Rain, who basically are deciding to live off the grid because they want to try it. And they've been doing that for about three years. Um, now, I remember my qualms with the script were such. The first thing was I didn't care about the characters. So Ben and Rain, Ben and Rain's relationship wasn't really established as like something that I would be invested in, and they didn't really tell me why um, you know these characters were in love or how they're in love or why I as a reader should care. And uh, as I was browsing through the script, the updated script, the 90 page one, I did notice that he was using some flashbacks and showing their relationship beforehand, which I think is really important, and that's a very good added thing to the script because I think that allows us to see how they were before the forest and before um, things, you know, get weird and creepy with the animals. So I did, I did, so I think there are like some improvements that are being made. And if you guys are interested in reading the script, you should definitely read the 90 page one, not the 70 page one. Um, so I'm going to be talking about some spoilers now, because it's really hard to talk about really any script without delving into it. So again, if you're interested in it, you can go ahead and read it, read it. Um, but basically I'm going to be talking about spoilers now. So essentially the, the biggest issue I had with the script was actually the practicality of it. So if you look at the, um, central idea, it's about animals that attempt, that start becoming like humans. Um, and there's a lot of mystery to it. So a lot of stiff stuff isn't explained, but basically, you know, the like pigs and like, I don't know if there's horses, but let's just, the only, the animal I remember are pigs are essentially being able to hold guns and shoot guns. And it was just crazy. And I was... I was just thinking in my head, like, how is that going to work on film? Like, I, there's one thing to read it. It's one thing to even see it in a short story. Or if you read, like, Orwell's Animal Farm, like, that's a book. You can kind of, you just buy it. But as a film, I just thought practically that is just, that's going to be so hard to pull off and so hard to do. And I didn't see how that was going to uh, be practical. And I was, I read the last five pages in the updated script just to see if like anything had changed from the ending and the ending is still there like it's still a pig holding a gun being able to use it and so i mean it, i mean heck that may not bother some viewers but it did bother me as a reader just because i was trying to think of it from a filmmaking or from a cinematic angle how that was going to work um the other thing that i didn't like about the script was the first 30 to 40 pages were all kind of set up and all just like them talking and living in the forest and I just think, like, cinematically, that's going to be really hard to pull off and retain the reader's interest. I think more needs to happen in the first 30 to 40 pages to really build our suspense and show. And of course, yeah, there are some weird things that start happening, but I didn't think there was enough. So, for example, I'm watching the film Leave No Trace, which was has like 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. And I was watching it on Netflix and I said, you know, I'm going to give it half an hour. 
Um, and I was really, really just bored by it overall. And it may be, it may be like me, like I, cause I like fast paced action thrillers or whatever, but I just think it's really hard to pull off like two people living in a forest and making that interesting for the viewer. But again, that just may not be my cup of tea. That may be something you guys like. But I mean, all that being said, the script overall was written um, pretty well. There was some very impressive visual imagery and visual descriptions that really painted a clear image in my head, uh, which shows there is talent there and there is a voice there. Um, but just, I think the story itself wasn't my cup of tea. That being said, I will give it this. It was original. Like it was, like it was different. It was unique. Uh, it's not necessarily something that I liked or I appreciated, um, but it was still there. It showed that there was something different. Like I feel if this was made, it, it wouldn't really be like any, any other horror film out there. It'd be its own unique type of film, which I think is, is why one reason why it was optioned but i do think that it, it's still going to be very hard getting those animals um like it would be a it, this could be a great low budget feature if it weren't for the animals so i think that's what's complicating everything um so i think the, you know the writer has to find some unique way or the director has to find some unique way to kind of show the animals being weird because i do think like the last i do remember like the last 20 to no, 20 pages was pretty it was pretty good like it was interesting and it was creepy and you did feel I mean, you did get the creeps reading it. Um, and I do think there is some message at the end of it, um, you know, about just the, the culture we live in, how we consume meat, how we eat animals. There's something there, but it's done in a very, very non-preachy way, which I really like. It's not trying to, like, shove a message down our throat. It's just trying to uh, make us think about our society and culture. So I think overall, it's, it's an interesting script. Again, I'm not a horror person, so it's not my cup of tea per se, but... Um, and there are practical issues, I think, that need to be addressed. But uh, overall, I'm happy for the writer. And I'm interested to see what else he, he releases or does. Um, so my rating for the script is going to be a 6.5 out of 10. If you guys read it, let me know what you guys thought. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Thanks for watching.